Hey guys, today I want to introduce Krishangi who got accepted to like five to seven top universities and got fully funded or in-state scholarship in most of them. So hi Krishangi, what were the universities you got accepted okay. to? Okay, um, I applied to quite a bit of universities and I got accepted to, uh, you know, uh, Northeastern University, Boston, uh, State University of New York, uh, University of North Carolina, Charlotte, of course, Georgia State, University of Houston, Texas, um, IIT Chicago, yes, somewhat in here and there and you know, yeah. For CS, perfect. Yes, for CS, all for CS. Mm -hmm. So in short, like, can you please explain what were the main factors that helped you in getting fully funded in most of these universities? Uh, yes, uh, I think, uh, you know, like uh, most of the universities in US are categorized as uh, two parts. Uh, for masters, uh, it's GPA uh, versus your uh, GRE. GPA are commonly termed as academic centric and uh, GRE is as it is. So uh, like honestly speaking, I know people like you know who've gotten like 304, 305 but because they had decent academics they've gone on to you know very good universities. Uh, so it's like uh, when I applied I I had like I had a decent GRE and I had a decent GPA so I did not categorize it like that likewise but uh, uh, yes I when I was seeking the full funding I I seeked uh, the you know uh, professor quality of course professors good like it which is in sync with you know what I want to re do research on and um, uh, and you know of course like you know uh, how's the course curriculum uh, in line with my interest like my interest is data science so you know you know what are the subjects in data science that they are specializing on so you know that's how i forayed into like uh, first into the whole masters thing and then of course for fully funding uh, i did like went beyond the course of my curriculum like uh, very early on uh, in my undergrad i published two research papers they were accepted at an international level and they had a very high impact factor as well impact factor is something which you know uh, research papers are given and it's um, reviewed by your peers and they have a committee which does that of specialists especially in that area i did in the areas of bioinformatics and uh, because my advisor was into bioinformatics and he gave me materials to read and it interested me so I forayed into bioinformatics and the next area I did was uh, crowd so yes so I did that then I interned with Nokia in one summer and uh, that was also extremely beneficial and of course like my work experience in the big in one of the big four Ernest and Young uh, Ericsson and Cape Gemini yes so all of these you know they aided me to get the like full funding and uh, I got a full funding from Georgia State and uh, uh, in state so in state from university of houston texas so i will tell you what is in state in state is basically like i'm an international student but suppose you know your parent or you've been in this country you were a citizen you've been in this country and your parent let's say pays the taxes so you uh, qualify for in state so i got a i have none of these like i don't have any parent here i did not live here i am i lived in india all through my life but yeah i got like chosen on the basis of my uh, profile perfect so now let's talk about the cheapest university she got accepted to for cs so the cheapest is definitely going to georgia state university then what will be the cheapest? cheapest because yeah georgia state was actually not cheap georgia state is actually expensive like if one pays from own pocket but uh, since i got a full funding and there's like nothing free nothing as good as a free ride you know so mm -hmm. i yeah georgia state i chose because it became cheap for me owing to you know getting a full funding mm -hmm. other than that university of houston texas had become very uh, reasonable for me because it was an in-state tuition fee mm -hmm. and uh, university of north carolina definitely or because you know it's in charlotte and charlotte is a small city so you know it's not as expensive as a big city as like a boston or a chicago so in the end it will be boston right yes boston because they were the be costliest yes they, costliest. they are definitely the costliest because they are like uh, like uh, and uh, it's like uh, you know they are like central cities and everybody knows like the cost of living is I think one of the highest in the world right in correct Chicago uh, and all absolutely last thing what will be the final tips you would like to give for getting fully funded at these top universities so you know I uh, did like in the sense of uh, you know uh, five parameters I processed it in the sense of five parameters 
and uh, i'll say that uh, you know like uh, the five parameters are uh, your gpa uh, your gre um, your research work your industrial experience and uh, like you know of course like hanur must have already talked to you sop lor and all of that so you know uh, first of all you know i'll say that uh, don't be disheartened if you don't have a good gp gpa i mean it does not definitely mean the end of the world you can build it up on all other parameters you have a equal chance in that then you know there's your gre and but you know as as a indian from my own personal perspective i have seen people that what happens is that uh, since we are from an engineering background we ace the quant section really well but um, verbal section is actually you know catered to even test the people who come for a ma or a something related to arts or english you know so of course we can't equal their level in like english profes- proficiency as you know as engineers right so uh, what what also you know even if your gre score is not that high you can always build it up with your research experience like you know trying to publish good quality papers don't publish for the sake of it try to you know um, publish you know with a decent impact factor it's 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 like with your hard work it's achievable then uh, you know you can do it. then the fourth thing parameter is like your internships or your relevant work experience because mm-hmm. i mean uh, like of course all these companies have their presence here most mm-hmm. of the companies in india all have their global presence so now if you do good quality work and then you come here and all you always have a backup of joining them back again mm-hmm. and uh, the fifth parameter is uh, like you know your statement of purpose your lor like i think your story is very important that's what every university wants to hear and i'm sure no two people have the same story so there's no issue in that i think everybody is capable of writing a good statement of purpose and lor try to get it from people who've been associated with you for a long time not like two days or one month like you know somebody you know who can actually vouch for your excellency in that certain area okay absolutely wow so thank you so much for your tips yes uh-huh. i also had a like good time uh-huh. so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one goodbye bye